today we're gonna be creating a black hole system. So basically we're gonna turn the star into a black hole and then we're gonna put planets around it and I'm gonna try to make life in a system with no real star. Hello everybody, my name's Calvin. Welcome back to Universe Sandbox. So to start, let's just open up a new simulation and let's set the background to a good color. Ooh, let's do green. Okay, so I'm gonna actually start by just adding a star. Okay, this one's pretty good. And then what we can do is take this radius slider and just start to turn it down. Um, and this will lock the mass, so the mass is not changing, but the size of it is. So there's just as much matter in it, um, but it's getting crushed, basically. We're crushing the star down, and eventually, uh, if we crush it hard enough, it will turn into a black hole. Okay, when we crush the black hole down to only 2.8 kilometers, that's when it turns into a black hole. Okay, we need a good name for the black hole. I think black hole sun is appropriate. Okay, so let's add our first planet. And no matter how close we put the planet, it's not gonna get heated. So you can see we could put a planet, let's actually, yeah, let's do it. Oh, well, I guess if we put it that close, it kind of shreds it just cause it's going so fast. Um, let's, let's retry that. I wanna get it pretty close without it getting completely destroyed. Okay, this looks like it's not getting destroyed. So this will be our first planet technically, even though it's it's really small, but our, our black hole is tiny, even though it has the same mass as the sun. So it's even bigger than the sun actually. So if we put the sun here, it would eat the whole sun. This is basically real time. So this object is moving very fast. Let's actually, let's actually check out the motion. It's going 1.5% the speed of light. That is crazy fast. Almost 5,000 kilometers every second. Let's make it a yellow color. Something like that, I like that. Okay, Speedy is gonna be our first planet in the system. Perfect. Oh, okay, something just happened. Uh, tidal forces just seem to kick in on it. Let's make it smaller. And try to make it not... Okay, this actually looks like it's like gonna turn into rings. Like a ring almost. Okay, we're just gonna leave it. Cause that actually looks pretty sick going around the black hole sun. Okay, now I do want to try to make a habitable planet. And um, I think that the only way to get the heating is going to be from tidal heating. Basically, we're going to have to make a gas giant and then have the moon of the gas giant be habitable. So let's add a gas giant and it, the distance doesn't even matter. I'm going to put it about the same distance that Earth is from the sun. And in a realistic lighting, there is no light anywhere. Okay, so we got Tidal Heater here, the uh, gas giant that's going to heat our planet. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go, that should be good. And then let's add a random moon and let's just start by putting it here and let's see how the temperature does on this. Okay, it is slowly heating up. I think we can work with this. 21 Celsius average temperature or 71 Fahrenheit is pretty good. It is heating up a little bit, so we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna turn the flashlight on so we can see. It's very small. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and let's add some water to it. There we go. And an atmosphere too. We're gonna have to add a tiny bit of hydrogen on it. And then let's add an atmosphere. Okay, this is already looking pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna name it Life in the Darkness. Um, and let's check its habitability. 28.4, so I wonder how we could make it even higher. Maybe the rotational period. Yeah, 49.5 now, even though there is no star. Well, let's actually add city lights. So it's almost like the life on here, um, because it can't, it has no light coming in, it's gonna create its own light. So let's add lights, and it could be sort of like the bioluminescence. So add like a lightish blue light to it. Gotta get a good seed. So just imagine like the plants give off their own light because there is no light around. Um, so like if we actually turn off this background and make it black, you can see how dark it really is out here. Like this is what it would look like. That's so dark. We just keep the background so we can actually see what's happening. Okay, so there's life in the darkness. Let's make a better interface color on it. We'll give it that light blue color. Okay, let's give Tidal Heater another moon. We'll put it out here more. Um, this one won't be close enough to be tidally heated, but we could still do like a water world um, and it will probably freeze. So it would be like an ice world. Let's do it. Well, it's covered in water and we're just gonna help it by freezing it so this is what it's really gonna look like and let's still add an atmosphere and so there might there may be a very small chance of life just because the the heating's not gonna be very good but maybe like just some bacteria or something it's around negative 100 celsius and let's check its habitability 
3.73. So no complex life is gonna develop on here, but very simple, maybe bacteria could develop. Okay, now let's let's make Tidal Heater a better planet. I wanna add add some bands, even though they're not gonna see this. I let's do like a grayscale. Um, so let's keep it all like grays and whites. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward through this and I'll see you guys when it's over. All right, here we go. So this is looking pretty cool now. I do like the grayscale um, look of it. And you can see it's two moons going around it now. Let's try to add some rings. I don't want the rings to be so big that they reach out to the orbit of our planet here. So let's um, do this and we let's adjust the rings and just make like a thin, thin ring. All right, there we go. That's a pretty good looking ring going around now. And hopefully, let's actually see. I wonder if the orbit of our moon is going to mess with it because it looks like it's going to get pretty close. It won't let me run the simulation any faster because we got a bunch of stuff going on already, especially with our planet at the middle here. Look, it's like accretion disk now. That's basically what it is. That's basically what we created in the middle. Um, yeah, it passed by and it looks like the rings are going to stay OK. So we'll come back at the end and we'll check on that. I also think that we could do something with a really small star. So like, let's get Proxima Centauri and let's put it in orbit, but like pretty far away. So it's not gonna disrupt any of our um, planets. And then we could make another planet with life around Proxima Centauri. So this will give us like an actual star to work with. And then we still have the black hole. It's still technically part of the black hole system. So let's add another planet with life. Um, put it about there, should be good. And let's make it about the same size as Earth, I'm thinking. Go up. Okay, about right there. About 85% of Earth's mass. Oh, okay, that's that's very ugly. We're gonna wanna switch that. Okay, that's looking better. Um, let's add some water and then we can see how this is actually gonna look. I actually don't love that. Okay, let's work with this one. I do like the continents on this. And we do have a lot of small islands that the inhabitants could explore. And then we're gonna add um, an atmosphere to it. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. Let's get the atmosphere is looking good. Let's add some good colors to it now. Some greener colors. Something like there is looking nice. And this one actually is gonna have light. So even if we put it on a realistic light, you can see it still gets light from its star. Um, so even the people that live on our... Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. What happened to our system here? Okay, we still got tidal heater. It looks like our accretion disk got completely thrown out. The fragments shot out everywhere. Okay, that should be fine. But it kind of gives it a cool effect. Um, and those are like glitching out. But anyway, so the people that live on um, here in our life in the darkness planet should be able to see Proxima Centauri right there um, pretty easily, like maybe even during the day. I mean, there is no day, it's all night. But let's land on it and let's see. Yeah, there it is. So it looks, it's gonna be brighter than most of the other stars. Okay, we're gonna name our planet over here. Life in the light, because this one is not in the dark. Let's check our habitability, 47.8. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it a little bit higher by just tweaking some settings. Okay, we got it up to 71.7, .7, which is not bad at all. Let's give life in the light a moon or two. Let's go random small moon, and then we'll put a moon here, and then let's give it a bigger moon that's a little more further out, like that. Perfect, okay, and if we landed on this moon, I wonder if you can see anything from the black hole system. Probably not. I think that if life developed on here, they would have no idea that this black hole system even existed because everything is so dark over here and there's no, not even a star to indicate to them. But the people that lived on the life in the darkness planet would know that that star existed and could probably see um, eclipses so could they could see the planet. That's pretty interesting to think about. It looks like the rings on our tidal heater also got messed up. So I might just clear fragments just so we can get rid of a lot of the extra things that are clogging up our system. Um, but let's give life in the light some rings. Let's try it. Give it some colorful rings. Let's give it like some orange and yellow rings. So let's start with an orange ring like this. Okay, yellow. And then maybe one that contrasts both of those, like even like a blue ring. Look at that. It's like confetti on the planet. I like that. Okay, life in the light is like a party over here and then everyone in the darkness is not very happy. Let's add a comet. I'm just gonna put in Haley's comet. I just want a comet in this system. Okay, not Haley's comet. I wish in Universe Sandbox you could see the trail, but you can't um, really. So I give it its own trail of city lights that you can see on it. <laughs> okay, Haley's comet. Now red in interface color. You can see we'll get fairly close to our black hole sun and um, around the orbit where 
these people on in the Proxima Centauri little system would be able to see it. Okay, now I wonder if we could get a Barra Center. I want to try to orbit a planet outside of the Proxima Centauri and Black Hole system. So here's the Barra Center. This point is the point that these two objects are going around because they're kind of in a binary relationship. So if we orbit a planet around the Barra Center, technically this should work. We sh this planet should be able to orbit here just fine all by itself. And we're going to give it one final habitable planet made from tidal heating. And it looks like the temperature is going to be pretty good. 21.7 Celsius. And if we unpause time, it, it's actually heating up. It's like becoming less contrasted. So that's perfect, actually. So it, it would be kind of interesting because if all of these develop complex life, it would be it would be interesting to see if they contacted each other or what happened. There's our system today. As usual, it will be available in the description below if you'd like to try it out. Join my Discord server, the link's in the description. And thank you guys so much for 60,000 subscribers. It means a ton. Thank you to my patron Borg and leave your suggestions for new systems down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.